Hi. <laughs> hi, hi, how are you? Um, I'm going to check as usual. I always go to my phone and I check if I'm live to see if you can see me. Yes. If you are seeing this part, um, <clears throat> you are watching the replay. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking the time to watch uh, uh, this video. Um, my, uh, if you, if uh, whatever, whether you are watching live or you are watching the replay, say hello. Tell me where are you watching from. Um, uh, my name is Sarasa. Uh, Feijo. I know it's very it's very confusing because it's written Saras. <clears throat> I have very um, dry throat, <laughs> but it's pronounced with a little a at the end as Sarasa. Uh, my name is Sarasa Feijo, and I am a creativity mentor. Uh, but today I'm going to share with you the process behind uh, my painting inside and outside, which is just like behind me. Oh, let me change. Let me just like this oh i hope i can see if you if you can hear me <clears throat> can you please say yes <laughs> so that i know that you can hear me i cannot yes anyway thank you so much uh, so if you, uh, last week ah yes okay good Last week, I did this live um, talking, uh, oh, hi, cool, Chris, uh, thank you, thank you, cool. So, yes, you can hear me. <laughs> Last week, I was talking to you about uh, my painting climbing, which I did uh, on uh, oil on denim. And I wanted to talk to you about the painting behind me. Oh, yes, I did this. Because it's, hey... <clears throat> because it's, it's the same process, I was continuing. Actually, this painting was like the last painting I created after this um, experimental um, process I was doing with denims. It's not that I will never do again, but it was like a completion where I found something that for me was, um, was authentic and that came from within myself. You know, this is kind of like... I, when I finished it, I thought, hmm, <laughs> this is what I like. I like this um, discovery I made. <clears throat> so I don't know how I don't know how to do this. I have been trying a lot. It took me a long time to to create this part uh, because the painting is quite big, as you can see. So I think what I'm gonna do is do an overall from from here. I will be here. And then I, we together with the camera, we go there closer so that I can tell you about the details. So the painting, <clears throat> there, okay, I need to stand here. So the painting is, uh, it's called inside and outside because uh, maybe it's not obvious, but it's like this, this is me. And it's kind of like the outside reality, you know? And this guy over here is also an outsider reality. But this one here, and I will explain uh, better, okay? I'm just giving you an overall. <clears throat> this, this part here is like, it represents the mind. So I believe we are the creators of our reality and whatever we, we, whatever we see outside, on one side, on one hand, it's because we have it inside, but also we kind of put our <laughs> our thoughts are on our our perceptions on the outside reality. So this this painting is more or less this. I created this when I went to Madrid. Uh, I don't know a few years ago. <clears throat> Actually, I didn't create it a few years ago. I went to Madrid because my sister was there and I wanted to see her. I didn't see her um, for many years. I haven't seen her for many years. You can tell that all my paintings, I there is uh, always an attachment uh, with something that I experience in my life or, you know, things. So this one, I went to Madrid to see my sister. We haven't seen each other for many years. and. And I really, I arrived two days before, I wanted to be ready, I, want to, I wanted to be like, yes, yes, I'm here, I'm here, I want to see my sister. But in Madrid, I met many friends that I haven't seen either. 
so for me it was very <clears throat> first it was very like wow so so much emotion inside myself to see my sister after many years but also so much going on between my sister and my and my life with her my experiences with her and also my with my friends so it was like suddenly i had these two parts um two parts on my trip where it's like oh in the mornings or during the day i'm with my sister and then at night i go out with my friends and it became a little bit um <clears throat> you know like my thoughts i it was too much for me it was too much emotions no so i let me see i wrote some some notes so it was too much emotion and too much co conflict and like no conflict in the bad way but it's too much going on too much going on and it was so intense and when i came back and i remember i was walking with my friend i have my on this this side this is my sketchbook and then with my friend we were for a, we went for a walk and i found this amazing because he was saying oh you need to make a painting <laughs> I need to be in one of your paintings. So I remember we were walking on this beautiful part in Madrid and I found this, uh, like this, <clears throat> this wall that I stood on and it was like somehow I was being a, a statue. And this photo I printed for my painting and it's here. And for me it's, and you will see it over there, for me it's like, Ah. Oh, how difficult it's the other way. So this is like holding our reality. So this was uh, how I started, you know, by by this photo. And then it's like, from, this one is me, you know. And here it's kind of like from this finger, our exterior. I hope you still can hear me, but I am projecting anyway. <clears throat> so from here, it's kind of like, our uh, the outside world is is exist and it's and it's part of it's it's not something far away from us i don't know if you you can understand this but it's something that it's ours it's part of our universe you know it's part of our universe so it's like here it's that this universe but the exterior, it's never far, it's never separated, the ex exterior, yes, it's never separated from the in interior, from the inside, sorry, the outside, it's never separated from the inside. So it's like this guy who was the model we had um, in, in, the, in the session, it was great because, you know, my friend wanted me to make a painting, so I had a male model. It's nothing, I didn't organize this. It was just coincidence. coincidence. <laughs> so this is our outside world, but, but they are related. So it's not like, oh, the ice outside world is over there and the inside world is here. <laughs> so I believe it's, it's related. So you can see how the guy, it's looking there and this represents, uh, it's looking there, it's looking uh, there. And this part, as I said before, represents the mind for, for everyone. I mean, I use myself because I am the closest person <laughs> to myself. And I experience everything, you know, firsthand. <laughs> so it's, easy. <laughs> it's easier for me to make things like this. If um <clears throat> but i believe this this it's for everyone so it's like this is it's an abstract okay so this is kind of the mind and we can see uh like these are like all the threads of how our thoughts are um are related and are um how do you say this like they are like this connected and how in our minds, because yeah, in our minds, we, this, our thoughts somehow create um, objects that or object, objects that are not like physical objects, yeah? And this is kind of more or less what happened in the mind. Um, 
see like this uh, the outside world it's looking inside in, uh, it's looking through the ins inside world that is that is connected to these hands i don't know if you can see it interwine yes that's a good word thank you so much <laughs> yes they are yes they are inter inter interwine i hope i'm pronouncing well and then this which is our in in inside world it's come from here you know and this um i i i saw this by hand and it goes straight to this hand so if you see the photo again it's like the 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 um, our ex, uh, outside world it's on this hand you know but it's like a circle because it goes to the inside and then it's come back to this hand so it's kind of like but also we can see it the other way around so it's like from this hand oh from this hand it goes up 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 it goes to the mind and then it creates our outside world <laughs> It's a circle, it's a cycle, cycle as well. It's a circle and it's a cycle, both of them. So I was saying, <laughs> I hope that's clear. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom in. So I'm in a moment, I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to take you guys into a journey inside the painting. But before I do that, I wanted to... Um, I wanted to say, to explain just before, be, just maybe you didn't see the last, um, <clears throat> the last, excellent, okay. uh, maybe you didn't see the last video, and I encourage you to, to, to do it, to, to watch it, uh, but I was explaining that I was in an experimental period in which um, my mom, <laughs> I saw my mom, it's very short, I want to say it's very short, my mom, last time I saw my mom, uh, before I started this experimental period with denims, she gave me some uh, trousers and they were running, running out. They were warm, worn out. They were getting old and I could not use them. Also, I was, I was growing <laughs> and I didn't want to throw them away because they meant a lot to me because I don't see my family too often. So I started taking these trousers and cutting them and creating architectures and canvases for my paintings. Because then for me, the, the process didn't start when I was in front of an already made canvas. The process started already before uh, by taking, by looking at the canvas, um, by looking at the denim, by cutting the denim, by breaking it, by putting it together by sewing them. So for me, the process started, would start many, 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 many steps before than I was in the canvas, if that makes any sense. By the way, if you have any questions, uh, I can see hello. So hello, I'm going to do a little stop. Hello, Craig. Craig. <laughs> hello, Andrew. If you have any questions, just write your question and I answer you when I finish, okay? Uh, it will be okay. Uh, okay, so so with this one, so what happened is that many friends were uh, were looking, um, they realized that I was doing this, and then I got many, 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 <laughs> many trousers from people <laughs> uh, that for them were old, but for me they were amazing because they weren't broken. But in any case, even if they were broken they they would have been okay but for me it was very beautiful how people <clears throat> started giving me their old uh, denims or trousers so that i could i could continue with my experimental process and and just uh, as a um as a, um on the, on those lines this over here <laughs> is um is the inside of of a bicycle wheel and I went to the bike station. We have a shop here called the bike station. <clears throat> and I went and I asked them if they had something like this for my painting. And I explained to him what I wanted to do. And he went and he found an old painting, a children, a child, a child bike. And he, and he gave me the whole wheel. And then I arrived home and I took like all the, the spikes and I took everything and I cleaned it and I made it and I made it into this. 
So I want you to see that I created the same done before, so that I I cut it here, I saw it, then I, I saw it together, uh, I saw by hand, then again, uh, again with the frames. <laughs> so you can tell that w there is no frame because for this one, I think I don't, I don't want a frame because our mind is, uh, I don't know, I don't know, it didn't feel right to have a frame. So, but however, however, <laughs> however, I took, um, uh, oh, if you are still looking, Craig, what's the name of the stretcher? So I took a stretcher, so the stretcher is the back, this is the stretcher, and somehow it's kind of half, half a stretcher, half a frame, because you can see it. So, okay, now, oh, I hope I can do this. So now I'm gonna take you with me closer to the painting, okay? So the camera will move, but I will try to keep it the most. Uh... <laughs> oh, I don't know if we can go too far away. Oh, this is my knife. <laughs> oh, I wanted also to show you this. Da, 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 da. This is, I am not very good doing, um... I'm not very good doing sketches. <laughs> But these were my sketches, you know, this is what I was thinking, okay, this, I think this is what I want, I think this could be here, you know, these were my first approximation, I hope you can see them, and they are not, I don't, I don't spend too much time in sketches because I, I don't know, I just don't, I don't know, some people like sketches, I like the real, the real thing. <laughs> So, but anyway, here is when I was playing with my thoughts, and then here, if we can come closer, oops, uh, yes, oh my god, I'm sorry, it's like a, air. okay, so here you can see uh, what I said about the, these, um, <clears throat> oh, sorry, I found some, okay, these you can see about the bike wheel, it has another name, but I don't remember, so please forgive me. <laughs> And this, I, I put, uh, you know, like every thread goes inside the, 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 um, I hope you can see it, you know, because, oh, okay, more, okay, perfect. So this goes inside, you know, every hole in the, in the wheel, and then it goes, and as Craig said, interwine, and they interwine, and, and these, these connections that our thoughts do, oh, maybe here is better, okay. <laughs> Thank you, by the way, for being with me on this journey. And this, uh, this, um, it's kind of like this connection keeps our thoughts, our thoughts inside, you know, but also you see like these moves, because I think our thoughts are not dead, they are moving all the time. So it's kind of like this represents that movement that happened in our mind. Uh, yes, and also because, uh, I don't know, I did a lot of meditation and uh, oh, let's see if you can see me. Oh, yes. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Um, I did a lot of meditation and, and I realized that most of our thoughts are not ours. <laughs> they are just like energy passing by. So it's kind of, this is what represents this part. Like, okay, they, they are thoughts, but they are still loose. They are still alive. They are still movable, movable. Uh, and also they create, oh, sorry, I'm too close. And also they create um, objects and, and to do this. I will talk one day about Immanuel Kant. <laughs> and then, okay, I want to show you this because this is what I was talking before. So this represents the mind, as I said, okay? And the mind here, and this I did by hand, it goes down, 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 down. It goes here, you know, here, down. It goes here, it goes in. <clears throat> Sorry, I shouldn't be so close. And then here, 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 and it goes to the hand. You know, because everything that's happening in the mind over here is related to it's we we have the power of it. 
we have the power. <laughs> and sometimes it's difficult to choose our thoughts, but I don't think we are. I don't think we are victims of them. Uh, okay, and this is me, and it and it's very loose. It's very loose because somehow it's no. It's very okay. Let me come back here. <laughs> Somehow it's very it's very metaphysical. It's not realistic. It's more like something that's happened in my mind, some experiments, some things, some thoughts I play with, some beliefs, you know, some exp experiences. So that's why here it's not like you don't see or oh, like this. Okay, you don't see like proper proper eyes, proper nose. You know, you see something that's loose. That's that um drips you know it's it's more loose everything is loose but you can still see what's happening it's very organic and very intuitive you see you can see like the hands for example it's not perfect but you can see there are fingers there are no another one here there is some shadow here you know and then let's and then i wanted to show you the guy so this is the other hand the finger that i said that's our exterior reality goes there. Um, we kind of ha hold it in this place, and then from there you can see the model, yeah, the guy, <clears throat> the human that lo looks. Ah, oh, there, the human that looks to uh, through our inner world. Because, you know, I think, let me show myself again. I think sometimes we are like, oh, no, these are my thoughts. And, but people, people can sense what we are thinking, I think. Yes, I'm pretty sure. And by the energy, also our thoughts, um, our thoughts have some kind of energy and people can sense even if it's, even if it's unconscious. So I think uh, somehow, sorry, no, I think, but somehow this is what represents this painting. It's like, even if they are not, even if this person is not inside ourselves, they can sense something unconsciously, but also it's a way to, uh, to show you, to show through this painting, this circle and this cycle that I was talking about, how everything is connected. And also, oh wow, okay. And also, I want to to show you this. So this is uh, how did I call it before? This is the <laughs> half stretcher, half frame that I took a piece of thread, which is the same thread from here, from here. Yes, look at this, this um, the tail here, no, and this. Ah, I'm gonna say something before we f we finish. Uh, so this I did. Um, I went around, around, around. It took me a long time. <laughs> around, around, so that we don't see the the wood. Ah, sorry. So that we don't see the wood, and then these stretches uh, with the <clears throat> with the stitches that I did by hand. So um, what I did. And, and this you do with canvas as well, is that I prime the whole the whole uh, denim. Oh, I also use leather here because yeah, because our life doesn't have the same. Our life it's not always the same the same material. It's made out of a lot of things. <laughs> so I prime the whole canvas, uh, the whole denim or canvas as well, uh, with P PV PVA the blue. And then I painted on top of it. Yes. Uh, yes. Ah, look this as well. So I left these openings because because life is is a lot of surprises, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be back here again. Whoa! <laughs> How was that? How was that? Did you get it? And if you if do you have any question, I hope it wasn't too much because I went so close. Um, what I was doing with all of these different parts, I uh, for me it represents how life it's not like one road and that it life it's like you do something, you have you have a goal. Like for me it was like okay my goal is I'm gonna have a lot of fun with my my sister. 
and I'm gonna be like super like the best sister ever but I realized that it's not only me it's like it's so much going on that I need to deal with so it's the same you know like it's my friends it's also going out it's also like the emotions of like not having seen her for so long and seeing her you know it's like this and life is the same well that's life isn't it <laughs> so that's life and this is what i was doing with the painting oh we lost so it's like holes that are open this part here you know that comes in very organically and that kind of uh entangles in itself and like all the knots 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 <laughs> not knots but the knots you know the knots uh, and like everything and how everything changes and the color change and, and this is my painting, uh, inside and outside. Um, <laughs> oh, but uh, yes, if you have any questions, this is your time to, to ask me questions. If you are watching the replay, ask me the questions as well anyway, because I will, I will answer them. <laughs> I wanted to say that I am offering uh, bespoke paintings like this one uh, until, uh, with uh, free shipping until the end of the month. So you don't have many days left, I guess. But if you get in touch, we can talk about it. And the idea for me, what I want to offer you is something like this, something that means something to you, something that we, th we will see it, we will see it and <clears throat> we will talk about the things that you like, the, the thoughts that you have or how you look at life or what kind of experience you want to remember when you see the painting or what makes your heart um, pump <laughs> or what makes, uh, you know, like um, I said, favorite music, right? Uh, so that I can get a, a, a perfect image of what you like and who are you and, and what you want the painting to, to reflect. Um, and then I go off and I make something special, special for you. If you like this, uh, let me know. On, uh, let me know either on the comments and send me a PM, because I would love, like, I would love, 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 love to make a special and authentic piece uh, for you like this one. Not like this one, but with the same intention. That really, really, really means something to you that is close to your heart and and your values and your and and the hope not the hope but at the beauty of your life or whatever you want um, something that represents a lot for you <laughs> uh, anyway so let me know um that's that's it if you like my life uh, um how do you say um subscribe uh, you will see on the comments you will see uh, get notifications it means when I, wherever i i go live you will receive a notification so you don't miss me when i'm live because i like sharing with you <laughs> and i can answer your questions live uh, what else my name is sarasa fejo ah i remember i am a creativity mentor i help i guide people into becoming more into embracing their creative energy and let it um, fill their daily life. Um, tomorrow is Wednesday, or, or even if you watch this this live and it's no today is Tuesday for me. So if you watch this live, whatever another day in the week on Wednesdays, I run creative Wednesdays creative conversations and I invite artists and creative of all sorts to talk about creativity and how to be more creative in our lives so go to my page sarasa feijo creative adventure uh, so that you know who um, who i'm hosting which week okay thank you thank you thank you so much for taking your time of your time to to watch this and and i hope you have a beautiful day wherever you are <laughs> Bye. Oh.